Uh, today we're going to be talking about the new Spark Extreme LED light handle. Uh, as you can see, this is a bit newer of a design compared to the old ones. It is a smaller body and it should be a little bit better for um, a lot of industrial applications and some other things. Um, when you look at the unit, you'll have one power button and then there'll be a tray for the battery. If you open this up just by unscrewing it, you'll see that there's a single um, rechargeable lithium ion battery. It's a 3.7 volt. Um, reconnecting it's very easy to do as well and the body just goes together seamlessly. Um, with the power button there are some features that you can do with that so we'll go over those in a second. The connection on the top is for all of our rigid scopes and a lot of our flexible fiber scopes. Um, if you want you can also get these in a clamp system so that you can connect them to Olympus or other types of gastroscopes or light cables um, and we also do have some adapters for wolf and store scopes as well. Okay, so looking at the power button, there are some features that you can do with this. Um, basically, you hit it once to turn it on, once to turn it off. Um, additionally, once it's on, if you hold down the power button, it'll actually decrease the intensity of the lights, so the LEDs themselves will go down in intensity if you're getting a reflection off a surface or you don't need as much light. And then if you hold the button down again, it'll increase the intensity. Um, another feature as well, once you turn it off, if you hold down the power button, you'll get a strobe light feature, which is uh, useful for some applications as well. Um, if the strobe frequency isn't quite right, you can hold down the button and it'll increase and decrease the frequency of the light as well. So it'll start getting faster until it becomes a constant or it'll decrease. Um, so yeah, faster until it's constant light. And then if you hold it again, it'll decrease and it'll just get slower and slower. And then again, to turn it off, press the button once. Um, if you want the light to be brighter for the strobe feature, you will need to set the intensity of the light before you do that. So pick the desired brightness that you want and then do the strobe feature afterwards. So if you need less light, do it like that, turn it off and then set the strobe and it'll come in at that less or brighter frequency 